In today's video, we're gonna recreate Serum presets using only stock Ableton devices. Brett Pontecorvo here from LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of sound design, with mastering live performance software, and with building a fantastic live keyboard setup. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so one of the best ways to learn sound design is by starting with presets and rebuilding them. And this preset in Serum is really cool. So we're gonna rebuild this using just Ableton's wavetable. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in. And to start with, we kind of get this small version, but if we hit the up caret, you'll see we have a beautiful uh, full-ish sp full, full -ish screen display, and we can kind of see the details. And I'm just gonna use the solo button to toggle between these two, uh, two, dis two devices. So, Serum uh, is doing a couple of things here, and we can kind of see what's happening if we look. So we've got this knob moving, and this is pulse width, which changes the width of a square wave, basically. Um, we've got this volume level going up and down here. We've got some movement on the filter. And if any of this terminology is unfamiliar to you, you can grab a copy of the uh, quick synth map, which will help you kind of understand uh, some of these words in more detail. So we're gonna have to recreate these modulators. And I think the best place to start is just by checking out what they are and rebuilding them. So envelope two which is being used to modulate our filter, has a 0.3 millisecond attack, 664 millisecond delay, 83% sustain, and 20 millisecond release. And we're gonna just rebuild that in wavetable. So we'll go to envelope two, 0.3, decay is 664, 83, and 20 millisecond release. <laughs> And like I said, this is used to modulate our filter. So let's have a look here at Serum. Serum's filter is pretty low. It's got some drive. And when I hit a key, it really opens up wide. So we'll do the same thing here. I'm gonna get the OSR filter so we can add a touch of drive. We'll pull this down really low. Wanna make it about 24. And then we're gonna uh, add some modulation to envelope two. All right, that'll do for now. Let's see what other modulators we got going on here. So envelope three uh, is modulating the pulse width. So when we head over into wavetable underneath classic, we've got some pulse width modulation. And I found that this sits best so somewhere in the thirties. And it also sort of gives us this perceived uh, pitch shifting. So we're gonna go ahead and recreate envelope three, 0 0.3, 125, 28, and I think this was 635. Okay, so we'll go ahead and map this envelope three to our pulse width. I'll pull this back a bit. And we want it to have that punch, but we don't want it to hang out there too long. If we check out in Serum, if I click this, you can kind of see it better. It really pops over and then immediately comes back. So we want the same uh, for Wavetable. And I would say it has that. Now it's also being modulated by an LFO. So this LFO is running at half notes, so we'll do the same here. We've got our triangle wave, and we'll have this run at half notes. Okay. It's good. And then we're gonna add a little bit of touch sensitivity 
to this filter. Okay. So, now Serum has a couple of other things happening, right? It's got a second oscillator. It's up 0.7, and it also has a sub. Let's have a listen to the second oscillator. Okay, some level happening here. Now, Wavetable doesn't have Dirty Saw <laughs> as uh, a Wavetable, but we can get pretty close to this sound. So let's start by going up points uh, up seven, and this sub dual three is pretty close. All right, pretty pretty close. And now we got to get that sort of LFO thing happening. So we're going to do that with LFO2 here. We can transform this to a triangle wave, and this should be quarter notes. And we'll map that to our LFO2. So when we hear the two together now, we get that sort of interesting uh, rhythmic thing happening, and we'll compare. back just to touch more on the wavetable. All right, so we're, we're moving along here. Now we're gonna add back our sub, which is just a sine wave, so we can do that by turning this on. Very similar so far in sound. Now let's go ahead and see what else is missing. have some velocity mapped to the cutoff and also to the volume of uh, level one. So go ahead and drop this down a bit and give that some velocity. And also the cutoff already has velocity. Okay. Add a touch more drive here. All right. So that's about it for the front section here, but you'll notice there are some effects that really start to pull things together. So we have a ping pong quarter note delay happening. So go ahead and add from our audio effects a delay. Choose our quarter notes, ping pong, and we'll pull this back a bit. So we want to really have that sort of uh, crunch come through if we hit harder, so... Alright, I'm digging that. Now Serum, this preset actually is a mono synth, so we're gonna turn that mono on a bit and add some glide. Okay, pull back the feedback a touch and pull this dry wet down as well. All right. And Serum is also using a compressor to kind of just pull everything together a bit. So we can mouse over and see what's happening here. Threshold is negative 20, which we'll have to adjust a little bit. Um, 10 to 1, 90 second attack, 90 second release. So to our wavetable. We'll pull out our dynamics and a compressor here. So they were at negative 20. We'll start there, but you know, remains to be seen. 10 to one, 90 milliseconds, 90 milliseconds. Pretty close. Now, if you like what you've gotten, it's a good idea to just go ahead and 
group these. If you want to learn more about sound design, I encourage you to check out the video I've got on the screen right now. Um, and if you really want to go deeper, I want you to check out my sound design course. I've got a link for that in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on LiveKeyboardist.com.